Hi guys, it's been a long time since I reviewed a waterproof camera, so this time I'll show you Panasonic FT7. This is not necessarily a camera for diving. If you spend a lot of time outdoors in wet or dusty conditions, it makes sense to get one of these in order to ensure it will keep working in hard conditions. As is typical for waterproof cameras, this one is also a bit bulkier and heavier than a usual compact camera. Still, it fits in most pockets. Depending on the market, you can get it in several colors, and I think this orange one looks really good. It is waterproof up to 31 meters or 102 feet, and should be able to withstand being dropped from 2 meter height. Ergonomically, it has a good control layout. Small grip on the front helps a lot when holding it and I like the big shutter button which will be easy to use in winter with the gloves. All of the back buttons have distinguishable feel when used except for the zoom buttons. For some unknown reason Panasonic made these two squishy and with short travel. Only two buttons can be reassigned and these are marked as FN1 and FN2. I've set them up to give me direct access over ISO and white balance. When powered on, camera will remind the user to review precautions before going underwater. Each and every time this message will pop up. After a week of using it, I was unable to find how to turn this off. If anyone knows, please leave a comment because this is the single most irritating thing about FT7. Lens has 4.5 times optical zoom, ranging from 28 to 128 mm in full frame equivalent. It has a bit unimpressive aperture ranging from 3.3 to 5.9 when zoomed in. Optical stabilization is built in. Lens has a very good flare resistance. This little blob you see right now is all that's gonna happen when pointed at a strong light source. As for overall image quality, it is only average. As long as there is enough light so the camera can use low ISO values, it will be fine for casual users who want a tough camera, but that's about it. Colors are dull and sometimes even the lowest ISO can produce ugly watercolor effect due to strong noise reduction. I recommend enabling eye dynamic feature in the main menu as it does a good job at handling high dynamic range scenes. If you plan to use FT7 in low light, please don't. Here is what happens when we crank up ISO value. ISO 200 is maximum I would be comfortable with. ISO 1600 and 3200 needed for real-life nighttime shots are unusable. Sadly I had no chance to get to the seaside while using FT7, but underwater fountain test looks rather solid. Camera keeps good white balance underwater and as long as there is sunlight to keep low ISO values, results will be just fine. When in macro mode, FT7 will indicate closest focus distance on LCD as you zoom in, what is a neat feature. Macro is solid but nothing out of the ordinary and will be fine for occasional close-ups. There is an option to choose between mechanical shutter and automatic option. Mechanical is extremely quiet and once switched to auto, camera will almost always give priority to electronic shutter which of course is fully silent. Autofocus is average in speed and accuracy. It does better when all focus points are used. In low light it takes up to a few seconds to focus. Video can be recorded in HD, Full HD and 4K resolutions. 60p is available in Full HD, while in 4K FT7 records at 30 frames per second. Bitrate is surprisingly high, close to 100 megabits per second. There is a limit for single video and it is 29 minutes what should be enough for most users. High speed video is available but only at 100 frames per second in low HD resolution.
fadly video is recorded at crop compared to still images. Full HD is not that bad, but 4K creates really strong crop which effectively removes the wide angle capability of this camera. Video quality is average. Colors are still muted just like still images and level of details is not so impressive considering it records at 4K. Also, image stabilization doesn't seem to be as effective as I would have wanted. In its defense, I can say FT7 doesn't suffer from OR and rolling shutter is quite low, so not everything is bad. Low light video though is unusable, don't even bother trying. LCD unit has 3 inches diagonal and around 1 million dots, it has excellent viewing angles. Of course, there is no touch control as this is an underwater camera. There is a small electronic viewfinder above the LCD. It is relatively small and with only 1.17 million dots. I wouldn't use it regularly, LCD looks much better. Still, as far as I know, this is the only underwater camera with EVF, so it's better than nothing. It can be really useful in cases when direct sunlight would make it harder to see LCD. Lithium battery is recharged inside the camera. You get standard AC adapter and micro USB cable. Battery is strong enough for around 250 shots, what is a solid result for a camera and battery this small. A few words for the end. If you got a feeling I'm not particularly impressed by FT7, you are right. Photo and video quality as well as overall usability are that of a typical tiny sensor compact from 5 to 10 years ago. Expectations are much higher today. At current prices which are around 400 euros or 450 US dollars, FT7 is not a camera I would recommend. At this or similar price point you can get Sony ARX100, Panasonic TZ100 or even various entry-level mirrorless or DSLR cameras with proper image and video quality. If you absolutely need waterproof camera, get the GoPro or Sony Action Cam. At least they have wide angle in video recording mode. That's all for this review. If you have a question, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you want to support me, you can donate over PayPal or become my sponsor on Patreon. A big thanks to Paul who is my first and so far the only patron. There are also free ways to support me, either just by liking the video or subscribing to the channel. You can also use my Amazon affiliate links in video description before you make a purchase from them. You will not pay any more than otherwise, but Amazon will split its profit with me. Thanks for watching.